What's with the attitude? Trust me, guys. We will look at the gold files. Don't worry. I just don't want any spoilers. Not at all. Alright, let's do it again. Once more, this time with feeling, boys. Alright. Star of David, Moon, Sun. Escape. That's good, isn't it? Better than having nothing, at least. A map, of course. We've seen this before. Moon keys, of course. We've seen this before. This must be what the announcer was talking about, then. You should take one, Luna. You're a solo. Alice and I can keep the other one. Alright, what's next? Yep, we've heard this before. Why would there be a rule like that, though? It seems pointless. Yeah. That seems about right. I know what that thing is! Did you see anything in here that it could fit into? <laughs> oh, I know what that is. Take it! Alrighty, let's get the heck out of here. Boom! Bangy. The lock for the door. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one! Was that you, Luna? No. Then... Alice? You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Oh yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi! Over here! I made a joke, but that could actually be the same voice actor. <laughs> They were- the games were made around the same time. Sigma, look! What is that? <laughs> oh! Oh, blimey, that hurts. Why do you have a British accent? I ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite character in the entire game. Hello there, Gov. I guess. <laughs> It's a robot. And it's talking. With an accent. Yeah, the accent I definitely did not see coming. <laughs> Can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this. Not by half. I seriously wonder if that's the same, uh, same voice actor as... Oh, God, what was his name? From Dragon Quest IX. Rumpus? Grumpus? Bumple? Could not remember his name. Dragon no, Quest Alice Eight. Died. His name is Yangus. Do I rightly recollect you characterizing my speech as coarse? Well, that's right, cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? See, they figured they'd give us all a um, some tosser. Thought they'd give me this one. Some tosser. <laughs> it's British butt. Wow. It ain't right, I tell you.
So, how to put this delicately? What the hell are you, Koopa? If you're a barrel maker, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> right you are, my old son. Right you are. Well, go on, have a butchies, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? I I I don't know half of what you're saying. Yeah, I would say you're a robot. Oh, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. No, oh, he went into a Southern American voice there, or Western, sorry. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or a creator, or whatever commands them to do. They don't really look like men. They're just sort of shaped like humans, not men necessarily. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course, correct. Still, why does he know her name? Was he listening to us talk the whole time? The Golem of Myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Uh-oh, here comes another conversation. Our spellings are my different, though. The original blokes is spelled G-O-L-E-M, but me and me mates are G-A-U-L-E-M. That's an acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. Guess that kind of makes sense. And the truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that. But I figured they wanted to make sure they had the Gollum thing in there, you know? What with us being robots and all. Um... So... Should I just call you Gollum? Nah, that don't seem quite kosher. After all, all of me mates here are golems too. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. So... Gollum. That's way too long. We can't remember that. How about CM? What? You taking the mickey out of me? Stop speaking in tongues! Never had a problem myself. Right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? D O L M? Golem. Golem. <laughs> Come on, man, that's just Golem! Well, I'll be buggered. <laughs> Can't say I've ever noticed that before. You know you want to say core blimey. Go ahead and do it. Sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? Alright, Golem. You said Alice Darling a little bit ago, right? What? A gentleman can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? No, I don't care if you call her Darling. What I'm saying is, you called her Alice. How did you know her name? <laughs> Oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma, and you too, Luna. Okay, so you were listening to us. Uh, I'm right familiar with all nine of you. How? Why? You don't know. Why oh, they got cameras all over this place. Ah, so you've been watching us. I'm guessing you're not zero. I mean, that would be pretty freaking ridiculous. Well, then again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw. And they're all hidden away, so I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, you know? Yeah, it makes sense. Now, as I was saying, there were these cameras, you see, and all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So, I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. Well, considering it's uh, a robot and a computer, he probably had the ability to process all of that within a second or two. Does that mean you're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey. Are you- I knew it! Serious? I knew he was gonna say it. Ha <laughs> ha. You gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero. The Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. My humble self, and knows with the misfortune to be like me, are more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. 
So, Gowlums are kind of like Zero Junior's servants? Uh, no, not quite, Governor, not quite. Guys, you didn't actually have to write out Governor. You could just put G-U-V apostrophe N-E-R. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Right you are, missus. It'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. Well, we're like your arms or legs. The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. The fact of the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body, which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? That's very true. In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and ears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Okay, so that's pretty much right. Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery. <laughs> decisions and, and those decisions beget commands. Jiggery pokery. Oh my god, I love this game so much. And those commands are sent over the wireless like boop, boop, boop. And eventually, my body picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. So why do you... Why do you think you have back pain? Because you don't have back pain. You don't have nerves. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, right? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Well, I suppose you could say that. What we are sharing a mainframe and all. Oh, it's clear that that uh, this is a way for Zero to observe us. I don't think he's Zero. That would be too freaking obvious, but Zero is watching us right now. <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. I'm an independent core. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you are part of the collective. Resistance is futile. We will be assimilated. Uh, Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. <laughs> We're an autonomous collective. <laughs> but if that's the case, your hands and feet analogy doesn't really make sense. My arms and legs aren't autonomous. They don't just move on their own. Uh, you sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. And now you, you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Do you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking, right then, let's cross them, shall we? Well, kind of, but I see your point. Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows. I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. That's what you was thinking, innit? No? <laughs> they reckon so. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that'll help. I actually do think about these things, which makes me kind of weird. <laughs> but in general, no, nobody's thinking that. How's about when you reach for your tea? When you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> Yeah, the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. I get what you're saying. The subconscious does a lot. I know this, I've been in psychology. Well, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you bore me. <laughs> I love the Cockney accent. I can't get enough of it. I have always said, anything 
humorous, said with a British accent, immediately makes it 20 times more humorous. This is a true rule of life. That's how us golems and a young master get along. You, um, you got it all sorted now, chums? Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? Righto! Ugh, blimey. Well, guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. You're a robot. How can your shoulders get stiff? Thank you! And you said your back hurt earlier. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is a right mess, it is. Well, I mean, it looks like a mess, but... I'm going on human standards. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. I've been on this bed here for years. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Well, we saw that. The grease leaked out. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Why do you think, Av? Because you lot turned me on, is why. Especially that other missus over there. <laughs> oh yeah, that button on the top of the safe. Right you are, governor. Can you come with us then? The others need to see this. Uh, no, I can't, and more's a pity. I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. I've got internal batteries, but they're knackered. Which means destroyed. As a matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. The yeah, same goes for these other blokes too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> I see. So, you aren't gonna answer my question? Huh? What question is that? <laughs> I asked you how your shoulders can get stiff if you're a robot. Right, right, so you did. Not sure why you've got a bug up your arse about that particular issue, though. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's not really important, but... I'm just curious, I suppose. Curious, are you? Well, that's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Just lend me your lords and peers for a tick. Lend me your lords and peers. I believe that's supposed to mean eyes and ears. So, how can a robot get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Tell me, Guff, you ever heard of the Chinese room? <laughs> 